Hey guys and welcome to my channel! Today I'm going to show you how to make gingerbread cookie dough without molasses. The main ingredients of this dough is caramelized sugar, which gives it a beautiful color and a rich taste. This dough is very pleasant to work with and can be stored for a very long time, and the baked cookies can be stored for a very long time as well. Cookies made with this dough hold their shape perfectly and are great for decorating. At the same time, they have a very soft and tender texture. To make this dough, we'll need sugar, softened butter, all-purpose flour, hot water, baking soda, salt and spices. I use cinnamon, ground nutmeg, ginger and allspice. We'll also need one egg, which I forgot to display. You can find the exact amount of ingredients below this video. It is best to caramelize the sugar in a large heavy bottom pan with high sides. In the process, the mixture will bubble a lot and increase in volume, so to make sure you are not getting burnt, use a large pan. Place the sugar in the pan and spread it evenly. Place the pan over medium heat and wait until the sugar starts melting down and you see an amber color ring near the sides of the pan. It is very important not to stir the sugar at this stage. The only thing you can do is slightly shake the saucepan to help the sugar melt evenly. When you can see about half an inch of melted sugar around the sides of the pan, using a heatproof spatula or wooden spoon, carefully start mixing the rest of the dry sugar with the melted sugar. As you can see, the sugar is melting fast and doesn't form any sugar lumps. When all the sugar has caramelized, it has a very runny consistency and deep amber color. Take the pan off the heat and add hot boiled water in 2-3 batches, mixing the sugar after each addition. Be very careful as the mixture will bubble up. After that add the butter. Return the pan to the stove and keep cooking over low heat, constantly mixing until it has melted and no sugar lumps are left. Remove the pan from the heat and add salt, baking soda and all the spices. Mix very well to incorporate the seasoning. Baking soda will react with the caramelized sugar and the mixture will increase in volume. Let the sugar mixture to cool down to room temperature before adding the rest of the ingredients. During this time, it will decrease in volume and thicken a little bit. Add the egg and mix well. Next, gradually start adding the flour and mix after each addition. When mixing with the spatula becomes too hard, Place a good amount of flour onto a work surface and dump the dough in the middle. Sprinkle more flour on top and start kneading the dough, adding the rest of the flour as needed. Don't add the rest of the flour all at once. Everyone has different flour, so you may need a little bit more or less than indicated in the recipe. Be guided by the consistency of the dough. Right now the dough comes together very soft and it's almost like play-doh. But if I touch it, it's still slightly sticky. So I'm going to add the rest of my flour and knead the dough a little bit longer. If you put too much flour, the cookies will be dry. And if you put too little, the cookies will spread and won't hold their shape after baking. The cookie dough should turn out soft and not sticky to the hands. 
I like this though because I can store it for up to a month in the refrigerator or up to six months in the freezer. Baked cookies also have a long shelf life and can be stored in an airtight container for up to six months. I like to divide the dough into three pieces and then cover each piece with plastic wrap. The dough has to be refrigerated for a minimum of six hours. Chill dough is much harder, so before rolling it, let it sit for 10 minutes at room temperature. Slightly dust the work surface with flour, place the dough on top, sprinkle more flour on top of the dough and roll it out. I like to roll the dough between the two sticks that I made myself. Uh, that way every single cookie will be exactly the same thickness. I'm showing how to make the sticks in my other gingerbread cookie tutorial. I leave the link below this video. Using a cookie cutter, cut the cookies out. Transfer the cookies to a baking sheet covered with parchment paper or a Teflon sheet and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 8 to 10 minutes. If you press on top of the cookie, it should bounce right back. As you can see, the cookie is perfectly shaped after baking. To make the surface completely flat, place a cutting board on top of the hot cookies, slightly press and let them cool completely. Let me show you how the cookie looks inside. Freshly baked gingerbread cookies are a little bit hard on the outside, but place them into an airtight container for a few hours and they will soften. I really hope that my video is useful to you and inspires you to make this gingerbread cookie dough without molasses. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.